What's up everyone? Today we are playing Universe Sandbox. This game is a little old, but we're playing it because my computer can run it pretty good. I plan on getting a new computer sometime this year. I really hope I can. I know they're kind of pricey, so I'm really hoping that it's possible. So stick around. I plan on doing better like games and content on the channel. I just need a better computer. I actually just got monetized, so you can actually become a member as well. So I have a bronze, I have a gold, and platinum. You can read the benefits of those memberships somewhere. I'm not sure where you can see them on the channel. I'm new at all of this, so be sure to check them out. The platinum, though, I do have a special going on. It's $4.99 a month. You get a chance to win a copy of Grand Theft Auto 6 when it comes out in 2025. So if that's something that interests you for $4.99 a month, you might be able to win a copy of Grand Theft Auto 6. I'm just saying. Now, today we are playing Universe Sandbox just to see what would happen if we did some crazy stuff to our solar system. As you can see, this is our solar system right here. We got the sun, we got Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Mer oh, shit, I forgot the Saturn. Yeah, I got to sneeze. Damn, it's one of those where I, I had to sneeze and I couldn't. God, I hate that. If you are new to the channel, though, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. It would mean a lot. I'm trying to reach 20,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. Can we do it? I'm at 8,000 right now. All right, so we are getting into it here. We're going to destroy the solar system in many different ways. The first up, I want to replace the sun. Let's replace the sun with the biggest star that we know of, which is, maybe it's probably changed by now, but the biggest star that I know of, which is V.Y. Canis Majoris, or Canis Majoris, or however you want to say it. Uh, it's pretty massive. I think its orbit actually, re or it's not, it's, its outer surface reaches the orbit of Jupiter in our solar system. So we're going to look up V.Y. Canis Majoris. Wow, I can actually type on this keyboard. I have a Razer keyboard, and let me know if you have trouble typing on a Razer keyboard. Like, typing, like, playing games is fine, but typing, like, a regular, like, sentence, I can't, maybe, okay, maybe that's what's in the solar system. Let's go to tools. Let's do add. Yeah, we're just going to add. Let's add. Here we go. Okay. V.Y. Canis Majoris, somewhere in here. There she is, right there. All right, okay, yep. Uh, as you can see, it reaches, actually, past Jupiter, almost to the orbit of Saturn. So just imagine, our sun is that little dot right there. Right there, right, okay? The sun is actually, like, super massive compared to us, obviously. We know that. But imagine this. Look at the size of this. This is massive, bro. That's what she said, but I'm just saying. This is crazy. Um... Now, I know it's probably going to, well, it's going to, like, combine with the sun and then, like, explode and create a black hole. So, I think there's a way to replace the sun, right? Ah, yes, replace object. We're going to do that, and then we're going to replace the sun. Obviously, this is going to destroy Earth. And V.Y. Canis Majoris, replace, boom. All right, well... What did that do? Obviously, Earth is gone. We are annihilated. Like, we will never exist again. Like, we are completely and utterly devastated. Like, we, it's like we never existed. So let's speed up time and see what it does. It's probably going to suck in Saturn. Again, that's what she said. Yep, there goes Saturn. Everything is just going to get sucked in. Everything is just, yep, getting sucked right in. Yep, V.Y. Canis Majoris is one sucker. Yeah, so replacing the sun with V.Y. Canis Majoris completely and utterly devastates our solar system. And uh, it's pulling things way out in the distance just right into it. Like it's like it's nothing. I mean, it, it, it's, it's space. It's so vast, it doesn't look like anything. It looks just like another star, right? But in reality... This thing is so massive, it literally engulfed half of our solar system and then sucked everything else in. So, I mean, this thing is absolutely insane to think about. I read a fact somewhere that it would take 1,100 years for a passenger jet airliner to go around it once. So it would take several lifetimes, many lifetimes, to go around this son of a bitch one time on a 
jet airliner or a it's just like a regular passenger, you know, Southwest Airlines. It would take 1100 years. Yeah, I mean, it, look, our solar system is completely gone. It just sucked in the last fragment. Well, no, it's still got some little fragments, like super tiny, that was probably the size of a, a peanut compared to it. But, I mean, our solar system is completely gone. Now, what happens if we shoot VY Canis Majoris at our solar system? Let's try that. We're going to go ahead and just reload the solar system like nothing happened. Oh, there we are. There's Earth. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. We're good. Nothing happened. Everything is the way it needs to be. And it's, look, it's 2014. That was a good year. It's 10 years ago. It's 2024 right now, but in the game, it's 2014. To me, that was a good year. So we're going to go ahead and, since it's such a big star, we're going to shoot it from back here. Tools, add, VY Canis Majoris, VY Canis Majoris, and then we're going to launch it, hurtling towards our solar system like it is absolutely nothing there it is yeah if we saw that that it still is going to take several lifetimes to reach our planet or our solar system definitely it's 2015 right now so let's see let's just speed up time and then again everything's probably going to start getting sucked into it yeah i mean it's already 20 2100 so, I mean, yeah, it's going to take several lifetimes still, but we're going to just keep, we're going to speed up time and then we're going to pause it and then I'll slow it down. But as you can see, everything looks like it's already like that. Yeah, everything. Yep. Our solar system is getting sucked into it right now. So it's definitely happening. The, the word suck is really going to be a, what the, get that out of my face, dude. The word suck is definitely going to be a massive uh, vocabulary in this series if I continue to do universe sandbox stuff. So, <laughs> Stick around if you are enjoying it, but we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll just keep playing. Let's just play it at this speed and see what happens, and then we'll pause it. We'll slow down time here. Let's do like three years a second. There we go. That's a pretty good speed. We'll have to sp we'll speed it up if I have to, but yeah, everything is our entire solar system just getting sucked right into it. Where's Earth? I'm going to pause time. Earth is down here probably. Let's check the uh, the probability of... Oh, okay, well, it uh, doesn't look like anything is surviving on Earth right now. All right, it's under composition and life likelihood. Yeah. Looks like all of life on Earth has ceased at this time. So that's very unfortunate, but it happened. And uh, yeah, so why is this... Can this get out of my face? Do I got to close all of this one by one? Jeez Louise. Yeah, so, Earth, I mean, it is just, no, no, nothing on Earth is surviving this. And there it goes. Just like that, our solar system is completely gone, and VY Canis Majoris is completely engulfing every bit of our solar system. So, yeah. So, uh, be sure to leave recommendations in the comments down below what I should do. Like, it's hard to come up with ideas on my own. But we're going to take the sun and shoot another sun at it now obviously this is going to create a super massive like supernova i'm pretty sure and then a black hole so it's definitely going to annihilate our solar system but we're going to do it so we're going to see what would happen if we shot another sun at our sun let's go ahead and do that tools add all right here they go they're going to collide there they go yep that was look at this absolute massive supernova i'm still scrolling out like i don't know <laughs> damn i am still scrolling uh okay wow uh so it completely destroyed the solar system the only planet that survived that i am seeing right now is uranus so all right so your anus can survive uh a supernova but not taco bell <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay. Wow, that, that's pretty insane. What if we just, like, destroy Earth or something? What would happen if the moon collided with Earth? If one day the moon just decided, hey, I want to move in. And decided to hit our planet. 
Here it goes. Everything that we ever knew is about to end. The moon is coming right towards our planet. NASA says prepare for the worst. It's happening. We are all going to meet our demise. Let's slow it down just a little bit. Oh, it's going to hit the U.S. No, it's going to hit the Pacific. It's going to hit California! Oh, shit. What's the likelihood of life now? Composition all the way down. We're going to see. Nope. No life. Life is completely non-existent on our planet. So we're just going to speed up time here and see what happens. Well, it cooled down pretty quick. The likelihood of life is going up. So, but it definitely changed all of the land masses. So Australia looks like it survived a little bit. There's some Africa. Wow, I, I want to look at this. South America's got a big body of water. The United States is completely gone. It literally impacted California, and that's like the only thing that survived in the U.S. <laughs> but a huge part of Russia and China and Europe completely devastated. Africa completely. The Sahara Desert is now ocean. Wow. So if humans somehow survived, would have to create new nations, a new... New new world would emerge. A new way of life. Hawaii looks like it survived, which is insane. I don't think that would happen. In, I mean, the, obviously in real life, it's just it's a simulation, but still completely and utterly devastated. Likelihood of life is pretty high now, so life forms in like the ocean and maybe trees and stuff, but even then, everything looks... There's some greenery here, so... Life is sprawling in some places. Wow. Be sure to comment down below what, like, recommendations on what I should do to Earth, to the solar system, or if I should build my own solar system and see if we can make some planets habitable. That would be pretty cool. So, again, just drop those comments down below, and recommendations, and I'll definitely be sure to play around with them, and we'll do some videos on them. So, if you are new to my channel, just feel free to drop a like, hit subscribe. It would mean a lot. And again, if you become a Platinum member for $4.99 a month, you can possibly win a copy of Grand Theft Auto 6 in 2025 when it drops. So definitely be sure to do that. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.